If you want to see a student's activities, you can always right-click and go to Open Student Activities and see all the activities they participated in during the school. But if you want to see your own activities, you could either go to your activities page, like this, or you can use the activities information pane here. By default, it will show you your activities for the current school year. You can select other school years. You could even turn off the filter and see all activities, but we'll leave this on for now. Here are your activities. You can see how many students are confirmed in each. Even expand and see which students signed up and which ones were confirmed. Again, this is live information, so you could go to those students' details. Here, if I left-click, I'll get the activity details. Or if I right-click, I get a contextual menu for the details or the roster. Let's take a look at the details. All the basic information, including the schedule. Here, notice that this activity records attendance, but it doesn't have an assessment. And therefore, none of the assessment data is filled in. Here I am, and I'm listed as taking attendance for this activity. If I go to its roster tab, I can see all the students, what priority they had put on the sign-up for this, when they signed up, and the confirmation. I also see transportation information if it's relevant, and a summary of absences and tardies. Now note that if absences or tardies were entered, the details would be available in this grid. Now, in this particular case, there is no assessment for the activity, but let's take a look at this one. Here, this one is marked as Assess Activity, and it requires both an achievement mark and a comment, and it uses this scale, and the comment size can be marked. And here, I'm listed as Assessing this Activity. So when I go to its roster, I get additional columns here. I get an Achievement column, a Comment column, and an Assessment Done column. So I can use the drop-down to pick some achievement level. I can enter information here to give some comment. And then I can mark it as done and proceed on. If your school assesses activities, it can be done through this way. Note that you can only assess an activity if you've been marked as assessing in the instructional staff list. This information, like all other grids, you can print, send it to a printer, or save it to a file. You can also revert back to the default layout, but keep in mind that these columns, achievement, comment, and assessment done, are only visible if the class has been marked as receiving an assessment and requiring achievement and comment.